I'm making this video or I made a comment on a video of Jack Green Glenn's video. I said there is no place for religion in schools and should taken out of schools. I should have said should be taken out of schools. Spelling mistake there, sorry. Now, a YouTuber is replied back it has been taken out of schools. Why do you think it is written? It is the way today. God has been almost totally removed from everything in our country. And look at the shape of our country is, is in. Now think about it, Mr. Rob Dean. That's what it should be. Because the United States Constitution states, I mean, the First Amendment, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or pro prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of people peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances. Now, this is freedom for religion and freedom from religion. That means the schools cannot teach religious stuff. Now, he thinks because in his little world, the majority of the nation is atheists. Well, maybe the government the majority is atheists. Well, that's where you're wrong. There are Christians within the government as they cannot press their religious views within the government because the government is not allowed to do that. Now, I agree with that because of all different things. I'll explain the rest of the video. Hang on. However, if someone is a Catholic, is it him talking to me again? However, if someone is a Catholic and comes at me with nonsense, crazy talk, I'm going to give it back. Right, Mr. Robby, crazy talk is in your side because the Bible is fairy tales. Show me evidence to show me and the rest of the world that the Bible is true and God made the world. If you can, you will change the world. And the reason why you can't because there's no evidence for him. Now, he, carry, he carries on and says evolution, that is not a proven system scientifically. The Big Bang also not proven scientifically. The thing is, yes it is. Red spectrum is a spirit of light that proves the Big Bang. And also, the universe is expanding. Now, it's they're flying away from a central point, indicating there was an explosion in our past. 
and also it's a thing called cosmic microwave background noise in the 80s and the 90s when the TV goes offline or you switch the TV and it's white noise the fuzzy that's because that background what you're seeing that's the remnants of the big bang over time that probably will dissipate when that happens it will not be there at all but you probably will see other things and believe cr 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 I'll put a word in the thing to set one that ca cannot cleanse. Now, Chris, you asked me a question. Do you want to talk about the God particle next? Now, that is the particle that the scientists have named. They don't mean to say that's. God's handiwork. Where is the proof of God? That is not the proof of God. All you're doing is trying to every single last straw and try and name it God. That was God. <laughs> My God. That is still not evidence of God. Doesn't no matter how you do it up, that is still not evidence of God. Now, he also said, I would be careful referring to the Bible as a book of fairy tales. Or it has fairy tales. Because so much in there is completely false. Untrue. You're saying it's not untrue, then give me evidence to prove it's not untrue. Because at the moment, Noah's Ark did not exist, proving to be not in existence due to the fact that it is an American ship called the USS Wyoming. It's half the size of the Ark at the boat limit of wooden ships. When that sailed, it buckled, twisted, and the crew failed to keep it dry. And it sank with all hands. Now, the ark was twice the size of the Wyoming. And you're expecting to believe us, to believe it, that that sealed when the Wyoming kid. This hence the reason we switched from wooden ships to steel ships. Flood never happened. The Egyptians never recorded the flood I know there's tons of myths flood myths now you got to think in their eyes when you see a big flood the people in that time will think it's global but it turns out it's you know, quite possibly a local flood if it's a global flood there will be evidence of a current evidence right across the world at the same time. The flood myths are at all in different time periods. So, it's so does that mean there's quite a few floods? A few global floods? I was single and set piece of time? No. 
in the Bible, 2,000 years ago, there was a flood, global ones. The flood months are several over time, several time periods. So, it didn't add up. Now, you know, he carried on saying, there has been a lot harsher arguments over the years, a lot more things happened through the course of history over that book. So I would think twice before comparing to a Harry Potter novel. Yes, I agree with you there. The Crusades, trying to convert people to Christianity, slaughtering millions or thousands. Now, I'm comparing to a Harry Potter novel because Harry Potter is fiction. So is the Bible. There's a lot more. It was, this is also carrying what it's saying. There's a lot more truth in the Bible than the theory of evolution. I can guarantee you that. I, I can give to you that. How? There's a lot more truth to evolution than the Bible. Proving Noah's that does not exist. Proving the stuff in the Bible is not true whatsoever. And you cannot say that evolution is less truthful than the Bible when it's the other way around. You are thinking that way because you are indoctrinated. And if you want to go like that, that's up to you. But you don't bring it the Bible truth where it's not truth at all. If you don't want to use rational thinking, you're not using the rest of it, you're not using your brain. So it carries on commenting. This is what I replied. Evolution. No, sorry. This is his copy and paste in my, no, one of his own comments. Evolution is not proven scientifically. Now, he's just basically posting a creation website. I don't go into that because creationists don't understand how evolution works and they misquote people. They, well, they don't misquote people, they don't finish the quote. They take the quotes which agrees with them and leave out the quotes it does not. That's you should not do that because it deceives people. One of the Bible scriptures that Christians are not allowed to do is to lie. This is people are lying to you. They're breaking their Bible. So I'll carry on with this. Now, he says, okay, we can agree to disagree that I believe God is real and you believe he is not because there's no evidence for him and you cannot say God is real because there's no evidence yes there's no evidence to there's no evidence to disprove him or to prove him so does that mean he's real because you can't prove him or disprove him no because if there's no evidence to prove him, he cannot be there. Because he was saying, you are still arguing that evolution is a proven fact and is not wrong. It is a theory, hence the name evolution theory, it is not a fact. What is the definition of a theory? It's a theory, it's an idea in your head. Yes. Thing is, evolution 
people has went out to test it out in the world to see if it's true or not. And we've got evidence to back it up. Christians don't do that. They like leech from Christ e evolution and take it as you want and try and conform the evidence you said in their religious beliefs. You don't do that. You have to let the evidence lead you where everyone leads you take. And it carries on saying you should know more about the best like if you're a man of science. Yes, the, but the most like is getting filled in every not every day, but it's getting filled in. You just obviously you don't know anything about the most like. So it carries on. See your big mistake was making the assumption that I'm a religious not holy mola. Well, yes, you are. Maybe the not, not job is the West Baptist Church, the West Bell Baptist Church. But you believe in God and you believe in God in the earth and, and all that. And uh, that's just plain ridiculous. But that's up to you. It's your choice. It's freedom of choice. But it's didn't prove that you're right, it just proves you're wrong. But that's up to you. And it carries on. So hang on. Now it's season this one. There's more scientific evidence proving a television design of cr that word there. As opposed to evolution. Evolution is silly and childish. I know I've sort of stung round about, but you know what I mean. Is this guy stupid or something? I tell it the same and that word are the same thing. There is no evidence to prove it. Again, at the beginning of this video, if you can prove that God made the earth, you would get the Nobel Peace Prize. You would change the world. But because there's no evidence for them, he does not exist. But at the end of the day, schools do not teach creationist views whatsoever because there's no evidence to back it up. Now, the reason why that is because the public is governed by the government with the secular, meaning it cannot form a religious state. And it should be taken out of skills. Religion is done so many bad things. And okay, you might bring up Stalin and the Chinese leader who's killed people. But they didn't really do it in the name of atheism. It's just your view. If you think it is, but you get things wrong. Hitler wasn't an atheist. He was a Roman Catholic. In his oracle biography. So, I hope this clears us up, but more likely, you won't. You won't listen because you rather believe in ignorance of ignorance or evidence. So that's completely up to you. 
so again no evidence for in the Bible and the evidence for evolution and for the Big Bang and for all this stuff as well. If you choose not to listen to us and dismiss the evidence, that's up to you. That's about it. So, for the people who view this YouTube, this is my very first, not my very first YouTube video, but first of put on many. And if you like me, subscribe. If you don't like me, that's fair enough. So, it's been fun. So, see you soon. Bye for now.